Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Homegoing celebration for the late Percy Fat Walker. Sunrise, July 9th, 1952. Sunset, May 25th, 2022. Services today, Saturday, June 4th, 2022. 1 p.m. Green Lawn Cemetery, Freetown Road, Uniontown, Alabama. Reverend James Harris, officially. I will read the program in the order that is printed and ask if you would please come in that order. A solo by Brother Terry Collins. Scripture, Old Testament, Reverend Lawrence England. New Testament, Reverend Philip White. Prayer, Reverend Philip White. Please come in that order. How y'all doing? Detroit together. And now 
all kind of different roads together. But fact, we had some misunderstandings, which all of us do at some time, one time, one day. But we still get yeah, love each other. I was by the nurse home to see him a few times. She was sit there, talk with him, pray with him. He said, go by, go by church, go by church, take a fried chicken, bring me some chicken. Go by, uh, uh, Captain D, bring me, bring me a fish sandwich. I said, where are you going to go by, go by Walmart and get rid of this? I said, go by Walmart. I said, all right, man. I'm glad, I'm glad. I, I need to get out of him. I need to get out of him. But we had to realize and understand it wasn't, it wasn't meant for him to get out of them. See, we had to realize and understand that God took him home from right there where he was. And I love him, man. Better, better, better to love people, too. Yes, what you had to be, you had, you had yes, to understand, and you had to understand fact. Yes. Understand, fact. A long time. Our scripture reading today is coming out of the Old Testament. Thrill. Thank you, Terry Carter, for providing all the saints. The saints get together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you better get it right so you can't go. Our scripture reading, very familiar scripture. Out of song, 23rd number song. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green couch. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of right for his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare the table for me in the presence of my enemies. I anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord built. Amen. 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 Most of all, the healing, the Holy Spirit, God's word already blessed. Amen. 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 From the New Testament, the book of John, chapter 14, Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And I will receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Father, we, on this day, we even find reason to give you glory. We glorify your name, Father. We glorify your sovereignty. And we thank you for your love. Because we realize the grave is not our end. The scripture reminds us that you went away to prepare a place for us. And you knew that one day person would need that place. You told us in your word that one day you would come back and receive us to that place that you prepared for us. So we thank you, Father, for having a prepared place for your people. Now, Father, I lift up this family. We bring them before your presence. And, Father, we ask that you would, you would grant them peace that's beyond understanding. We ask that your hand of comfort would be made manifest during this trying time. And then, Father, we realize that there are people that have come to witness this home going from a distance and some from our own community. And we just ask that you all... Father, would grant us all safe passage back home. And we return home, we all find our homes better than we have. We thank you for the life of Percy Walker. We thank you for his love of family and his love for friends. We thank you for his laughter and his unique sense of humor. We thank you for granting Percy into our lives. But Master, we realize he belonged to you. And you had every right whenever you got ready to call him home. And we just thank you for sharing him. And Father, we give your name all the praise and all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The program calls for expressions. Um, they said limited to two to three people. Two minutes, please. We've already had expressions from Terry and from Reverend so I'm gonna be that third person. I'm gonna make it very short. Percy was my classmate. He was a member of the class of 1972. 
and whenever we saw him, he was always glad to see us. He showed love and friendship to all of us, and he always had something kind to say to all of us. Acknowledgement. of the late person, Pat Walker, wishes to express their heartfelt gratitude to all who share their love, prayers, visits, calls, flowers, cards, and other acts of kindness. May God bless you and keep you in our prayers, the Walker family. The family received numerous cards of condolences, which they assure you that they will read at a later date and respond. We will now have words of comfort from Reverend James Hay. Opportunity. So he's that's enough to tell him thank you. Ain't that right? Amen. God bless you. Amen. This is my friend, Brother Walker, was a very new meet in the district. I met uh, Brother Walker back in my early years. It was in the 90s. My memory serving me correctly. 94. Amen. And person was the person who always was reaching with a heavy smile. Amen. He would be smiling and laughing. He always had something funny to say to you. And one of the things, he always used to invitate me to preach. And I remember we was going, we headed to Rock Chapel for church school at 9.30. And I would meet him on this way to push that is on, and the shirt tail hanging out. When you, when you recognize my car, he get in the street. <laughs> <laughs> he started imitating me, and I was laughing, what's happening? That's the way he greeted me. When we came in contact with each other, he always was imitating our priest. Amen. He would just get on and keep me feeling and knowing, amen, to imitate. Reverend Harry. But nevertheless, and one other thing that I see here where Brother Walker and I have in common, amen, he born one day before I did. Amen, I born on the 10th of July. I see why he born on the 9th of July. Amen, those of you who like to follow your obstacle, amen, that's cancer. Amen. You don't mean anything. Amen. Amen. Want to see things apart. Amen. But nevertheless, there's nothing we can say here this afternoon. We help Brother Walker, not with his harm him, but those of you whom he left behind. Amen. That is a word for you. Amen. We pray that you catch on to it, and we pray that you then listen here. Amen. Because this is not the last one going to leave. All of us, amen, that's standing here are going to leave here one day, soon or later. Ain't that right? You may live like you're going to stay here, but I want to let you know you're going to leave here. Yeah, I don't care how you switch, how you feel and how you built. 
Amen. One thing about Delphi, it doesn't discriminate. It'll get you when you're healthy. It'll get you when you're sick. Amen. The only conclusion I come up with is just when time comes. Amen. It will take you home. There is a word here uh, from the book of Matthew Gospel. Fifth chapter. Amen. The 25th chapter. I shall read. Amen. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamp and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them was wise, and five was foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Well, while the bridegroom tarried, they all stumbled and slept. And at midnight, hallelujah, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom is coming. Go ye out to meet him. And then all of those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamp are gone out. But the wise answer said, Not so. Lest thou be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourself. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that was ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. After coming also the other virgins said, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answers and said, Very I say unto you, I know you not. Wash therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour, wherein the Son of Man come. Hallelujah. We don't know how, and we don't know when. All right. When death will come. I don't care how you prepare for you never know the day out of hour. Amen. My sisters and brothers, I believe within my heart that Brother Walker was expecting one day that his tongue would stop moving. I believe that one day that he realized that his steps would soon come to an end. I believe that, amen. I, I believe that he realized one day that this home, this place is not his home. Amen. I believe that he realized there's a place that God has prepared for us. Amen. That no man had nothing to do with. Hallelujah. What was it that disqualified the five foolish bridesmaids? Was it that they didn't have a lamp? No. They all had lamp. Was it that they fell asleep? No. Because the other five also fell asleep. Was it that they didn't really believe the groom exists? No. Was it that they wasn't sincere? No, they were disqualified because they wasn't ready. 
when the bridegroom uh, arrived. They were not prepared. Yes. They were not prepared. We need to be prepared for the coming of Christ. Yeah, Amen. We we get ready for everything. We got ready for this home God. Amen. We got we got ready for work. We get ready for several other things. But we we never prepare ourselves for this home going. Amen. And Jesus gave the fallen power to clarify Father what it meant to be ready for His return and how to live. With until he comes. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, In the story of the bride maid, we are taught that every person is responsible for his or her own spiritual condition. Yes, the story of the tower shows that the necessities of using well what God has entrusted to us. The parable of the sheep and the goats. Stress of the importance of serving others in need. No, the power by itself complete and describe our preparation. Instead of each paint one part of the whole picture. Yeah, the power is about a wedding. On the wedding day, the bridegroom went, yes, Lord, to the bride house. For the ceremony. Then the bride and the groom, along with a great parade, returned uh, to the groom house where a feast took place, offer lasses a few weeks. These verses, which were the bride made, were waiting for the parade, and they hoped to take part in the wedding banquet. But when the groom didn't come to the expected time, five of them were out of level. By the time they had prostrate after all, it was too late. Oh, uh, yes, to join the feast. My sisters and brothers, I'm praying here this evening that you won't wait too late. Before you give your life to Christ, you won't wait too late to realize that you are going to die. When Jesus returned to take his people to heaven, we must be ready. Spirit preparation cannot be bought. Uh, it cannot be bought. At the last minute, our relationship with God must be our own. Can I get a witness here? My sister and brother, I don't know when and I don't know how. My sister and brother, as I reflection back on the truth and then text. I'm sure those children was expected to go back home, but they did not return back home. My sister and brother, that exact day, no man know that exact day and hour, no man knows. Can I get a witness here? In and kidding that even Jesus himself did not know the exact time all along of his returning when Jesus was on the earth. He voluntarily limited his use of his divine oh yeah tribulation. Jesus gave the father power. Yeah, my sister and brother here, I want to let you know, since we don't know the day on the album when the Son of Man should come, I want to let you know, it getting late in the evening, is anybody here know, it getting late in the evening, and the sun is going down, I don't mean to ask you in, ain't God alright, your life, 
Oh yeah, they get short. Can we get a witness here? We'll close them to this spot. Then we was on yesterday. Can we get a witness here? Since you don't know the day out of the album, you don't have to leave a green line this evening. You can accept God. Oh God will accept you as a little child. Can we get a witness here? My sisters and brothers, one thing I know for sure, the Bible says there's a better place on the other side. How many of you believe that? That there's a better place on the other side. I know you love here. I know you're used to here. But I want to let you know, don't get too comfortable. Because your name is on the book. And, gone all right. and your name, Lord. Law, 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 law. Your name yeah. surely will be called. We don't know what a night, a morning, a full day. But one thing for sure, you can't tell the Lord. I'll come back next day or the following day. You got to go when the Lord comes. You don't know how. You don't know when. You need to think about this today. Huh? You need to think about it. You young folks, you flipping and jumping. Yes, Lord. Like you got everything going on. But I want to let you know you're not too young to hush your fuss. Can I get some help? Some help? You need to think about it while you can. I don't care, I don't care how you enjoy yourself. One day, you got to meet the maker. Huh? You, you got to meet him. And, and that would be no excuse. Hallelujah. Thank be to God for a lying person to be able to share 59, 69 years. Amen. With us. Amen. We thank God for him. And let me say this. I have to say this. The late Sister Walker's mother. That was her love of her life. That was her love of her life. Before I met person, I knew person. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? Because when I go there and visit his mother, the whole conversation for about person. She would break down in tears talking about person. That's my baby. He was wrong, but that was her baby. <laughs> Not taking anything from the other children, but it was something special about a person that his mother was whole attached. He was nothing but a phone call away from his mother. Yes, he would be on his way if he could get there and come to her rescue. But thank be to God. You know, most times people say, well, when you die, I'm gone for my folks. And hmm, I'm sit down with them. Mm. Amen. If 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 <laughs> if you if you live here and and seen the one in a a year or two or three years, you don't even know him, do you? How you gonna recognize somebody? <laughs> Been gone a year, but you can remember when you get to heaven, but you can't remember here. You you will have a, a different body. Mm -hmm. you, 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 if you can't live in it while you're here in it, high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, would it make sense for you to come back and get it? Look out. Harris. The Bible says you're going to have a glow side body. Yes. A body with no bones. Yes. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. 
Uh-huh. No blood. Mm-hmm. Won't have to worry about a physician. Won't have to worry about a headache. It's all, it's all. Mm -hmm. Want to make sense? To make preparation today for that glorified body. Yes! I know I got to go. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, Lord! Oh! and it is cut down like a flower. It fled and it was a shadow and never continued in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor? But of these, O oh God, most holy, O oh Lord, most mighty, O oh holy and merciful Savior, deliver us not unto the middle pain of eternal death. Thou no Lord, the secret of our hearts, but not thou, not thou merciful yield to our prayer. The spouse, Lord most holy, O oh God most mighty, O oh holy and merciful Savior, thou most worldly judge, eternal sublime, not at our last day, our last hour, for only pain, for any pains of death to fall from thee. But as much as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground, verse to us, as to that, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ at whom second coming in glory magnet to judge the world, rest in the sea, shall give up that day, and the corrupt father of those that who sleep in him shall be changed and made like it unto his own glory body, according to the mighty works whereby he is able to seduce all things unto him. Himself. Let us pray in unity. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou wilt be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the services of our family member and friend, Percy Walker, on behalf of his family. We are very thankful for every expression of love shown to us. Pastor Harris, on behalf of the family, we thank you for your warm words and comfort. To the family, we want to present this plaque to you in uh, loving memory of uh, person. We pray that the services were at maximum expectation. I want to leave you with this. Uh, each and every last time, every time I've talked with Percy, uh, he would always end the conversation one way. He would simply always tell me, he said, Make my name ring. <laughs> <laughs> Make my name ring. 
persecuted. In other words, don't you forget about me. You got to tell other folks about me. And that's what I want to tell y'all. Just like he kept his mama's name in time, you got to keep his name in time. This time you may consider yourselves this man. <laughs>